Hello again, third grade, and welcome to lesson 11-2. We're still working on solving two-step word problems, but this lesson is going to focus on solving problems related to multiplication and division, where last lesson was focused on problems related to addition and subtraction. So let's go ahead and watch our short video lesson, and then we can jump into our notes and our guided practice together. How can you use diagrams to solve two-step problems? Think about this question during the lesson. The teams for the city baseball tournament are divided equally into three leagues. Each league is divided into two regions with the same number of teams in each region. How many teams are in each region? Let's find out. You can represent this problem with bar diagrams. You can use a letter to stand for the unknown quantity. Step 1. Find and answer the hidden question. How many teams are in each league? Use T to represent the number of teams in each league. Is the value of T the same in each section of the diagram? How do you know? So for this question, we're going to be dividing the teams into the three leagues. So whenever we're dividing, we're sharing equally. So T is going to be the same in each group. So over here, we have 24 at the top, and we can see that since we have the same variable in each of those three boxes, that means that variable stands for the same number. So that means they have to be equal. Yes, the value of T is the same in each section because each of the three leagues has the same number of teams. Which equation can be used to find the value of t? Select your answer. So here we can see that 24 is our whole, and we need to split it into three equal groups. So those three groups all together is going to equal 24. So it can't be 24 minus 3, because these are not a group of one in each one of these. It can't be times three, otherwise the 24 would be in each one of these boxes. So it has to be 24 divided or broken up into three equal groups. 24 teams are divided into three equal groups. So the equation T equals 24 divided by three can be used to find the number of teams in each league. 24 divided by 3 equals 8, so there are 8 teams in each league. Step 2. Use the answer to the hidden question to answer the original question. Each league is divided into two regions with the same number of teams in each region. How many teams are in each region? Use R to represent the number of teams in each region. From step 1, you know that there are 8 teams in each league. Is the value of R the same in each section of the diagram? How do you know? Yes, the value of R is the same in each section, because the 8 teams are divided equally into the two regions. If each region didn't have the same number of teams, could you use division to find the number of teams? Why or why not? No, you would not be able to use division if each region didn't have the same number of teams, because there must be equal groups to divide. The eight teams in the league are divided into two equal groups, so the equation R equals 8 divided by 2 can be used to find the value of r. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So there are four teams in each region. Now you know how to use diagrams to solve two-step problems.
All right, let's go ahead and jump into our notes and our guided practice together. So for lesson 11-2, we're working again on solving two-step word problems, focusing on multiplication and division. Remember, you can use a bar diagram and equations to represent your problem, and you can use a variable to show the unknown quantity or the unknown amount that you're trying to find. So let's take a look at our example question here. Two friends decide to share equally all of the apples they picked. They filled three bags with four apples in each bag. How many apples will each friend get? So here we annotated our question already. Two friends, three bags, four apples in each bag. And then we underlined the question part. How many apples will each friend get? Well, let's stop and think, what do I know? I know there are two friends. I know that there are three bags and there are four apples in each one of those three bags. So I have to ask myself, what is my hidden question? What do I need to find out first before I can solve? Well, I need to figure out how many apples are there in all. So I'm going to solve the hidden question first, and I'm going to use a bar diagram and an equation to show how to answer that. So I'm going to use A to be the number of apples. That's my unknown total. And we know there's three bags, so there's three sections here. And there's four apples in each bag. So my bar diagram here has three sections or three parts to show the three bags. And there's four in each one of those parts to show the four groups of apples in each bag. So A is going to equal three times four or 12. So now I know there are 12 apples in all. That's my total. Next, I'm going to use that information to solve my main question, which was how many apples does each friend get? So to solve that, I'm going to draw another bar diagram. So I know there are 12 apples in all, so 12 is going to be my total here. F is going to be the number of apples that each friend got. So my bar diagram, since there are two friends, my bar diagram has two sections. So it has two parts to show the two friends. The 12 apples is my total, so that's going to go on top. And then I need to write an equation to solve. So F is going to equal 12 divided by two. So 12 divided by two equals six. And that tells me that each one, each friend got six apples. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example. Six pounds of pecans are shared equally between two friends. Each pound has 60 pecans. How many pecans does each friend get? So I need to, I annotated my question, six pounds, two friends, and there are 60 pecans in each pound. And my question is, how many does each friend get? So I need to first solve my hidden question, which is how many pecans are there in six pounds? So T is going to be my total number. Now I have six groups or six pounds. So those six pounds are going to be the six sections in my bar diagram. And each section or each pound has 60 pecans. So there's 60 in each one of these six sections. So T, my total number of pecans is going to be six pounds times 60 per pound or six times 60. We'll use our basic fact, six times six is 36 times a group of 10 gives us 360 pecans total. Now my main question asks, how many does each friend get? So there are two friends and I know that there are 360 pecans now. So 360 is my total. My bar, my bar diagram is broken into two parts for the two friends. So F is going to be how much or how many each friend gets. So F is equal to 360 divided by two. Again, you can use your basic fact, 36 divided by two is 18. 36 tens divided by two is 18 tens or 180. So each friend got 180 pecans. So you have to solve your hidden question. You draw your bar diagram, name your variable, write your equation and solve, and then use that information to answer your main question. Another bar diagram, another variable, another equation to solve. Now let's take a look at our guided practice here. Number one says, why do you need to solve the hidden question first? Well, that we learned because uh, you need the solution or the answer from the hidden question to be able to solve and answer the main question. Number two, what multiplication equation can be written for the bar diagram in box C on the previous page? And this is related to one in your book. So originally it says, 
r is equal to 8 divided by 2, or we could say r times 2 is equal to 8. For number 3, it says there are 8 students in two school vans with the same number of students in each van. The fee for each student is $5. What is the total fee for all of the students in one van? So over here, you have a lot of information in this question. We have eight students total. We have two school vans. And we figured out the fee for each student is $5. Now they want us to figure out what is the total fee for the students in one van. So we know the vans have the same number of kids in them. Eight students split into two vans. So we're going to use X as our variable. X is the number of students in one van. X is equal to eight divided by two. So eight is my total. That's going to go over here on top of my bar diagram. It's split into two groups to show the two vans. So eight divided by two equals X. You know, X is equal to four. So our hidden question was how many students are in each van? There are four students in each van. Now we can solve the other part. What is the total fee for all the students in one van? So C is going to be the cost for that one van full of students. We know there's four students, so my bar diagram is split into four sections. C is my total cost. We know each student is going to cost $5. So I'm going to have my total cost is equal to the four students times $5 each, which equals $20. So the cost for all of the students in one van is going to be $20. Make sure when you're going through these questions, I know they're throwing a lot of information at you all at the same time. Go slow, write down the information that you have, write down what you know, and solve it one step at a time. Always find your hidden question first, solve your hidden question, and then go and try and solve your main question. Don't try and tackle it all at once because you're not going to be able to solve until you answer that hidden question. That's it for today's lesson. If you guys have any questions on anything, please let me know. Otherwise, have an amazing day. Take care. Bye-bye.